wanted to hop on today. I was actually driving down the road this morning and it occurred to me that books are a gift that you receive. I've always said this, but it came to me in a different way this morning. What I came to realize was that a book is a seed, a seed. And it's like, you're given the gift of the seed, but it's up to you to plant it. And once you plant that seed, it'll grow, right? So what I also realized is that when, you're, when you plant the seed, you've got to have the, the appropriate conditions. You've got to have somebody coming along and watering that seed. And you've got to have just the right conditions so that you can grow. And then once you're growing, you've got to have more water, more sun. And it occurred to me that that's exactly what I'm creating in my author community. They have the seed. It's their choice to plant it. But in community and with my coaching and with a great strategy, they're able to blossom and sprout and grow a tree and then produce fruit. The fruit is book sales. The fruit is doors opening. The fruit is more yeses in their coaching business. The fruit is just being able to write their story and all of the amazing breakthroughs that come through that process. And it's such an exciting process because then you have a tree, right? And there was an old wise saying, when is the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago, 20 years ago is the best time to plant a tree. So for those of you who feel that you have a book in your heart and it's like that seed that you have, I just want to encourage you, all you have to do is go and plant the seed, plant the seed. And you can do that by writing. Um, I'm hosting an instant book challenge on August 24th. We'd love to have you join us. And in community, we are creating something really beautiful. And everyone in our program then has a strategy and an action plan and a community around them so that they can see that seed blossom and sprout and grow. And then we get to celebrate them throughout the entire process. So today, I wanted to bring on three of our incredible, brilliant authors, and I just wanted them to share what their process has been, how planting that seed for them, what that has done for them. So first of all, I'm going to bring on Jody. Jody is just incredible. Jody Hedergott Subir. She's writing this book. It's it's. It's an amazing book about her story, and I want to bring her on just so that she can share her process and how this community, the Unleash Your Rising Authors community, has served her. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her on. I'm going to unmute her and bring her on video. Jody. Hello. <laughs> there <Hi>. you are. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. And just the way we met and you just going full steam ahead to get your book written, it's just, it's, it's really inspired me. And I know so many other people have been inspired by your process. So I'd love for you to just share, you know, really how we met and how this process has served you in, in actually saying yes and planting that seed and what has come out of that in the past four months, very short time. Okay, um, so I know Christine because our children go to school together and she had been uh, talking about her book and I sat down next to her one day and I said, so how much does it cost to have somebody write a book for you? Because I have a great, I'm a storyteller, but I'm... I'm not a writer. And she was like, like $25,000. And I was like, I'm going to be having to write my own book. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I kind of hemmed and hawed and I was like, Oh, you know, how am I going to do this? And she just kept inviting me to things and I decided to show up. Um, and she was like, okay, everybody get up and tell us the name of your book. And I'm like, the name of my book. <laughs> And I just got up and I did it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the name of my book. It just like, it came to me because it was in me 
I just had to have somebody push me and go, hey, you got that book, there you go. So um, I'm a, a stay-at-home mom with two kids. I'm very busy, I help in the community. I am in everyone's, you know, I'm at everyone's beck and call. So I don't have a lot of time for myself. And the thought of sitting down and going, I'm gonna write a book about my life and all these experiences and it's gonna be emotional and I'm gonna need time to focus. And you know, how is that gonna happen? And Christine like gave me the answer. She's like, I have all like, here's a program. I will show you how to do it. It is so easy. Step one, say yes. Step two, do this. Step three. And um, it was perfect. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna write a book. My husband's behind me, my, my children are behind me. And then COVID hit. And the week that I was supposed to write my book because I was clearing my schedule and I was going to have time, just me and the computer and, and you know, and nature, COVID hit. And I did not only have my kindergartner that I had to homeschool. I had a fifth grader I had to homeschool. I had my husband who is a software engineer, which I didn't realize how much he talks all day long that I had to deal with. So I had three people who needed my constant attention and we were stuck in this house with chaos. And I just was like, okay, well, how am I gonna carve out this time? And Christine's like, what are you doing to make that time for you? And she has a process that you have, to, that she will walk you through. And if you actually do the process, it's that, it's that easy as you actually just have to listen to her and do the process. You, I wrote an entire book. I wrote an entire book with all of this happening during COVID stuck in my house. And it's, you know, my kids have been helpful. Um, you know, my son, he's stepped up a lot. My husband is just like, what do you need? We'll get it done. But in the end, it was, I had to make the choice to show up and write when I said I was gonna write. And the process just does it itself. I'm in the, I am now on my next step, which I'm editing. And I'm really looking forward to all of how that goes. And um, it's working out pretty well. So, you know, February, my birthday is in February 20th, and I was not an author. And today is August, I don't know, August 14th, and I am an author. <laughs> it's that. <Wow>. Cool. <laughs> and, so. and homeschooling your kids and <laughs> hubby at home and like having to like create your, your special space in your house and create mm -hmm. those boundaries, but then like tapping into this strategy so that you can actually get really clear and just write it. Mm -hmm. And I remember when you came to me and you're like, I'm, I'm not a writer. Like I'm a <laughs> terrible writer. And it's <laughs> like, you, you know what? I don't, I don't attract writers in my <laughs> program. I attract visionaries. I attract mm -hmm. people who have powerful stories and a big vision. They want to help transform lives. Um, not, not all of them are entrepreneurs. Like you're, you're starting as an author, but you're, you're moving into the coaching world and mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're just starting with like getting the book written and that, that's what I did. So it's, it's a process. And I, I mean, I'm so inspired by you. You're like, <laughs> okay, I'm writing this book. I remember that first call we hopped on and you were like, okay, I wrote like, I mean, I mean it was like unheard of thousands of words. And I was like, <laughs> what? Like your first week writing? Like that is insane. Yeah. Like, and I'm just, I'm blown away. Like I'm inspired by you. I didn't write my book that fast. Like, but, but people do come to me and, and because I've created such a strategy that they can just like tap into. And with the breakthrough that, that we do too, it's like, it totally like dissolves any barrier mm -hmm. that, that's in your way. Did you want to maybe share like what, what that barrier was for you? If you remember, like what, what really like was able to be dissolved so you could just like, boom, go in and, and start writing. You know, um, well, I had to value myself and, um, you know, I, I didn't value what I have to offer. If I'm good enough, if I'm, do I have what it takes to do this and, I just, I realize I do. And I have so much to offer other people and I give it to them all the time. It's now I want to, instead of giving them and then they, I want them to value it. So I'm, I'm putting my, my book together as something that people can read to be inspired by. And then I'm going, um, I am an intuitive life coach and I'm gonna be starting my practice so I can help people 
rise. I don't want to give a handout. I want to give a hand up. And so um, I, all of this is just, you know, when you start to just say, yes, I, I'm willing to have this come in, all the right people will fall into place. You are the perfect, you just fell right into my lap and I was, you know, okay, well, what are we doing now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying yes, we're just going to go yes. with this. I love and, how, how you just came into our community and said yes and just said, let's do this. And, and I really like seeing, um, you know, we're all at different levels and it's kind of nice that we're not all just starting out and, you know, as you'll see the guests that are coming on today, um, some people have, have published their books, some people, you know, are just, you know, have gone on different, different ventures so far, but we're, we're all like helping each other climb that mountain. So mm -hmm. it's nice to be part of this community. <laughs> oh, well, we love you, Jody. We're so happy that you're a part of this community. I can't wait Thank to you. see your book, <laughs> See Joe Go. Yes, it's going to be an amazing go. memoir, amazing <laughs> journey of, I mean, uh, dying, coming back to life, a journey of grief and loss and overcoming and just a beautiful story. You've got an amazing family and I'm just, I mean, I just get teary eyed because just having you in our community <laughs> and the way that we met. So I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for sharing, Jody. Thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, just keep, you're in editing. So I know we're going to be nearing launch and I'm going to yes. be holding your hand every step of the way, as you know. So I know, I can't wait. <laughs> well, thanks Thank for being here. You. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So good. So next I'm going to have um, Judy Thurston. Hi, Judy. Hello, I can't hear you. Let me ask to unmute you. Ask to unmute. There we go. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy that you're here. And gosh, I was just thinking this morning how you came into our community and how you've just been rocking it with your book, uh, Beautiful Tragedy. And I, I'm just thrilled to have you in our community. So thank you for being here. And I just would love for you to share, you know, what your, what your writing process was and, and then just go into how, how this program served you and where you're going now <laughs> with everything that yeah. you're up to. Well, I was, I was listening your, to your interview prior and I was just getting the chills because I truly believe that we attract, you know, who we need. And when you were saying, you know, that you attract visionaries, not necessarily writers, I've always considered myself a visionary. And what I lack is the strategy <laughs> to make it happen, have big dreams, big ideas, big goals. And really, that's even how my book came to be. I mean, I, you know, lost my son last summer in June, and I was um, journaling and posting and just kind of chronicling um, the grief and loss that I was going through, um, you know, while we were in the hospital, he was in the ICU for two weeks and in a coma. And, um, mm. and I just was chronicling everything that was going on, not knowing that I was going to write a book about it. Mm. It was just kind of the way that I was processing. And um, I'm very um, spirit led and I listen to, I, I get a lot of dreams. And in my dream, I remember you know, the voice just telling me, you are a writer. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, <laughs> I'm not a writer. And he said it again, almost angry, like stop making excuses and write this book. And I said, okay. And so the next, you know, couple of days I started writing. I wrote 45,000 words on my iPhone with my thumbs in the notes section in 18 days. So it just poured out of me. And even then I still wasn't sure, like, what am I going to do with this? Maybe one person will read it. Maybe I'll give it to my family. Um, but it just, the process kept, you know, going. And what I love about what you said, you said, um, you know, the, the books that we have is like a seed that we plant. Right. And I love that I met you because I feel like I had the seed mm -hmm. that I wanted to plant, but being with you helped me to, I had to kind of uproot it. And I had a lot of mistakes that I wish I would have been with you from the beginning, because I know that once we got together, it was like, oh, okay, let's change this and let's kind of fix this. And, 
um, it was already a great book and a great story, but I feel like you just made it excellent and you just really breath, you know, breathe life into it and just really helped it to reach its potential. And um, I love that you, you know, you were talking about intention because at the end of the day, it's about what, what do you really want to do with this book? There are a lot of people that, you know, want to just write a book to say, Hey, I wrote a book and it's kind of like their glorified business card, you know? Um, my story with Jacob, I feel like is such a compelling, important story that I wanted to do whatever it took to get it in the hands of as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like um, you were the one that helped me do that. And so Aww. I'm just so grateful. And it's, it's sad and, and it's bittersweet because it's, the book is doing really well. Um, so many people are, are buying the book, but I'm sad the reason that they're buying it is because they can relate. And there's an opioid epidemic. You know, my son passed from an opioid overdose and it's, there's just a need for connection and people to feel like they have tools and that they, somebody can relate to them and that they're not alone. And so, yeah, it's been a journey for sure. And I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of the group and your community and um, very supportive and, and um, just lifting each other up. So thank you for that. Yeah, so good. Well, I just want to commend you for your courage and even writing a book like this and, and knowing that something on the other side is just propelling you to write it and honoring that because it's so easy to just say, uh, yeah, it's too soon to write a book about my son passing, but yeah. you're listening to the, that voice, that still quiet voice that says, or, or for you, it was loud. Yeah, <laughs> like, very loud. You were writing this book and, right. you know, to know that you, you, you're really tapping into a vision that's bigger than you are. There's a serious problem with opioid, opioid uh, addiction in this country, in this world, um, teenagers, teens, you know, suicide, all of these like factors that are coming into play, especially with COVID and, mm -hmm. and what are, what are they reaching for, you know, and for you to be so courageous to show, you know, to share your story and to just get out of your own way and know that this is bigger than you are and that this story is, is here for a purpose and you've gone through what you've gone through for a purpose to, to help others through, through their grief and to help make changes too. And I know you're looking to make a lot of changes in, in, in how, you know, these situations are treated and what, you know, what, how much uh, control that a parent would have over a teenager and, you know, making some changes in a system to make it better, to better serve, you know, families that are going through this. And just as an, a huge awareness piece too for, for anyone who has a family. So this book is really for anyone so that they're, they're aware of the signs and things to look for and how to manage something like that. So you're such a courageous warrior in your vision and I just want to commend you. And I love that you're in our community and how you were just like, I'm just going to do what you said. Like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. And you did it and you ended up launching your book and you, you ended up like making money before you launched, which was brilliant. You followed that part of my program. And so that way you could actually like get it out to more people. And now you're just, get, you know, you just keep showing up and getting the book out. And it's been, it's been so worth it for you just to create that community as well and to make that impact. So, yeah. and, you, and you're, you're, this is just the beginning. So yeah. yeah, thank you so much. I mean, it's the value of coaching, right? It's the value of coaching is just obedience. <laughs> and I remember there were things that you would have me do that I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. But because I made a commitment that, okay, I'm going to be coached. And whenever I would obey something that you told me to do, it would just, you know, flourish. And it was great. And I remember you telling me, okay, because this is so much more about the more uh, bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate that so much because we can kind of get in our own way. And I love that. I think with coaching and accountability and community, we get those eyes that we don't see and that um, just can really help us get out of our way. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's, it's an honor to have you in our community and I can't wait to keep celebrating you and seeing you hit bestseller in all of these other countries too, because you've got a lot of people, a lot of fans of your sons in other countries that, 
you know, you're just going to go, go, go. And I know that you're going to create a lot of change in the world as well. So we're so happy to have you. And Thank you, Christine. We love you, Judy. Love Thanks you for too. coming on to share your, your purpose and your vision and your book. Um, anyone who's watching, you can grab it on your website. What is your website? JudyThurston.com. And you can find Beautiful Tragedy on Amazon. And, and again, last, last thing is the value of this community and value of the, um, Christine's coaching is that when we launched, we launched number one bestseller in six different categories on Amazon, which I mean, I was just so blown away, had no idea, um, never imagined that this would happen. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you for showing up for your vision and thanks for being here today. All right, Judy, I know you have to run, so I'll let you go. Thanks for being okay. here. Take care, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. We're going to bring on Todd. Let's see. Hey, Christine. Hi, Todd Brinkman. How are you today? Great. Good to see you again. What a great couple of interviews you just had. Wow. Wow, yeah, that was great. Yeah, just, just mind-blowing. Like the, the different types of people we have in our community, all the different kinds of books coming out, the, the big vision that they have. And I, I'm just blown away. I get emotional. Look, I thought, you know, oh, I just can't help myself. I get so happy that you all are living in your vision and really creating so much change in the world. So we would love to hear from you, Todd, on what you have been up to with your book, Virtual Reality for Main Street, and just share a little bit about your journey and what you're up to now. Uh, yeah, well, I had, uh, I don't know, like a data dump for a book back in 2016, and it was fun to actually to, to fulfill that vision that, uh, that I had. And it was, a uh, it was a fun process. And, uh, I know like you hear stories of like the visionaries in, in our community. And for me, it was like, you know, somebody has to create what I, uh, like, you know, what I was doing. And for me, it was like helping a hospice patient, you know, go surfing one more time in Oceanside, California. And, uh, and it's called virtual reality for main street. So a hospital patient can put a headset on and go to their own church to pray before uh, treatment or surgery. And, and for me, it was like, if I don't do it, somebody may not do that. So for the first time in my life, I had something that was bigger than me. I had to do this for other people. And it's been transformative to, to uh, be around your, your group of visionaries, because there's a lot of us out there. And it's been exciting for me to kind of, yeah, like a make, make a midlife pivot, and uh, especially in the age of, of COVID. So it's been fun. So thank you uh, for all your help getting that done. But what's opened up for me lately is it's, it's funny if, if all of you are actually thinking of writing a book is for me, um, my job is, is to really get this in front of like CEOs of hospitals and universities. And I had a conversation yesterday with a CEO, a chief technical officer for a big virtual reality company. And I told him I was writing a book called virtual reality for main street. And he said, so you're bringing virtual reality, uh, to, virtual reality to main street. And he was just fascinated by that. So it was amazing for me. I think the thing that held me back in this whole process was like, I'm not good enough. You know, you just, that come, comes back over and over again. Nobody's going to like it. You know, uh, you know, it takes you back to high school days. It's, it's just crazy. And, and to get that confirmation, even just yesterday, and I have these meetings every few days now, you know, just to have that abstract idea called virtual reality. And I get to explain it to local chambers every week. And it's just been uh yeah, just an amazing ride of like, when you have a vision, you know, you are good enough, but it's an emotional process. Like you can hear from the last two authors, you know, getting to the finish line is an emotional thing and it's about letting go. And so you need to coach someone to help you because it is a, a process. So I'm, I'm grateful. So thank you for your help, Christine. Yes, so true. It, it is a process and it's a process of self-discovery and when you put pen to paper and you're like, I'm going to put my story out there. I'm going to put this amazing idea out there into right. the world every time. I mean, any, anyone you would ever interview who's done big things in this world, they will all tell you the same thing. They just had to get over thinking that maybe it wouldn't be good enough and, or it, you know, that no one would listen right. or no one would read it or no one would, you know, right. participate in your vision and, you know, whatever that is, you just get to say, cancel that because the seed was planted 
and I'm going to go ahead and write this book and have the faith it's going to reach the people that it's meant to reach. It's going to open those doors. There's a purpose and a reason why I've been given this vision. And it blows me away that you launched your book like when COVID shutdown hit. And here's your one of the first books in the world, by the way, about how to create a virtual reality prayer experience, how to create a virtual reality room, like in a children's cancer center, how they can maybe go to the beach. You know, they're stuck in, in a cancer center and they can't do anything. They can go surfing. They can, you know, or, or even just creating these experiences for families, for, for patients with Alzheimer's, like mind blowing stuff. The first book, one of the first books in the world uh, during this COVID shutdown, when everyone has to go virtual, like the timing on that is impeccable. Right. And, right. It, you know, it's right. because Some you God said time. yes back then. You said yes. Okay. I don't know where this is going. I have this vision. I'm just going to go ahead and write it. And the fact that it just, I mean, you launched, you launched a best, you hit bestseller and it, during the COVID shutdown, like, and now all of these CEOs and these people, they, you know, they're more available and you've been on the phone with them. Like, how can we get this type of, you know, virtual reality department or virtual reality room and just the doors opening it blows my mind. And the timing itself is, I mean, you can't explain that that's beyond you. Well, it, the, the, the interesting part is like, nobody knew what I was talking about for almost three and a half years. You know, why would somebody want to do that? You know, nobody has headsets. And then all of a sudden COVID hit and the book launches, right? Almost that's like the perfect day, perfect hour. So it's amazing how things just work. Uh, you know, for me, you know, God's purpose, you know, there's a timing for everything in this. And um, it's exciting to, uh, to just introduce an idea to the world. And, you know, we're just starting with this idea, but it's amazing. Uh, you know, I get to have conversations with school districts, uh, universities now, um, and uh, virtual reality companies all over the world. And uh, for any of you that are wondering, like, why would I write a book? It's because I wrote a book. I mean, uh, it's because I have a, a, a nice, big, thick book. It, it allows somebody to go, wow, he's, you know, reaching mastery on a topic. So when you write a book like this, you approach mastery of an idea. This is, I think of it as like a Rubik's Cube. You know, you can put it backwards, forwards. You can mix it all up and you can put it back together. You know, so it's fun to uh, approach mastery on a topic. And I think when you talk to a CEO, and that's my target audience for my book, which you helped me with, by the way, you know, they actually know that and they appreciate that. Uh, and it's interesting. Uh, and what you helped me with is I was writing my book to families, like families can do this. And then I switched it to writing this book for CEOs of hospitals and hospice centers and senior living facilities and to homeless shelters, you know, um, you know, all these possibilities, even prisons, you know, prison printers, prisoners can put headsets on and, and then, uh, but when I changed my book, you know, that gave me the authority of who my real target audience was, and that helped a lot. So you need a strategy. You can't just write a book. Uh, I mean, you can, but when you have a, a, like a business book, a how-to book, you know, when you actually get it completed and you, and you can like mail something in the mail to someone, it's amazing what opens up to you. And I'm excited for any of your authors out there, like are wondering, like I'm a coach or I'm a, I know I'm, I'm an advertising sales executive. You know, if you write a book, it just separates you from everyone else and it, it, it's all true so i'm appreciative of you and, and the community and as you can tell we, there's some amazing visionaries in this group it's uh it's amazing i i am i'm blown away every day by the people we attract into this community like you and and it's true i wanted to talk to the point about like like really anyone can write a book so if you're watching this and and you are like oh hey i have a book I mean, you can go and write a book on your own, but you know, with this technique and strategy, we get really clear on your big vision. So you can tap into like the higher purpose and a, a bigger vision and your, the, the impact that you want to make so that when you're writing the book, you're writing it to the appropriate target audience. And it could be as simple as just adding in a, you know, a chapter or two to, 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 to talk to that specific target audience for Todd, it was like really a lot of rewriting the book and, and the, the book is still has some components of like four families, but your vision was like, wow. So we really just kind of restructured, rewrote, and that's what's really helped you reach so many people and have these amazing opportunities present themselves. So uh, kudos to you, Todd. 
thank you for saying yes to your vision, the big vision. And I, I can't wait to see where all of this goes for you. And I hope you just keep tapping into this community, even when you're off, you know, doing all those big things, but you're already doing, you know, still hop on to our, our group calls. And uh, I just want to keep celebrating you and you've got more books in you too. So, you know, I know that you're going to be tapping back into the community for that. And uh, it's just a pleasure to see you grow and flourish in this and see you be successful in that. Yes. Thanks, Christine. Thank you Thank so you. much, Todd. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you soon. Yes, absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right. So let me stop his video. Wow. I'm just, I'm blown away. I always get, I always get emotional when people start to talk about their vision in how it's impacted lives and you know with todd how like a book like that can help create these beautiful experiences for people who otherwise you know can't go to the ocean or otherwise you know they they're not able to go outside and and do what they want to do and just the perfect timing in that is i can't even explain it so those are just three of the authors that we've worked with that i've had a pleasure coaching and these are authors who said yes to their vision, who said, okay, I have this seed, where, where can I plant it? And they just planted it in, in this specific community and they were able to see the success and, and see, see the book come about. I mean, gosh, with Jody and her writing her book in four months during COVID, homeschooling her kids, it just, it blows me away. So I just wanted to leave you with this encouragement that if you have that seed, that gift, that knowing that you have a book to go write it, go write it. And if you want to check out our program, um, you can go to instantbookchallenge.com and we would love to bring you on board. We're launching that August 24th and uh, we'll have other things coming up if that doesn't fit for you, but we would love to support you and have you be a part of our community. We're doing big things, but a lot of people who come to me, they may not realize like the bigger vision. So we help you tap into that. But I just wanted to encourage you just overall in general, start writing, just start writing your book and, and see where it goes. And, um, I can't wait to celebrate your every step, reach out to us and honor, honor that, that gift and that seed in your heart. All right, everybody have an amazing day and you can catch me on unleashyourrising.com as well. <music>